Meanwhile. All right, let's go bounty hunt. Wait, what? Bro, what? What is going on? Yo, how am I supposed to bounty hunt? Yeah, no, I'm out of here. I'm Let's all be honest here, boys. Does this ever happen to you? Yo, is that a spike? No, that's not a spike. This is a spring. Wait, what? Whoa. Whoa! Yo, 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 yo! Okay, so maybe that doesn't happen in Blossford, but in some other cases. I'm not really sure what I'm saying here. But you guys get my point, right? Do you guys ever get spammed on and get destroyed a lot in PvP? Are they too toxic for you to handle? <laughs> Bro, why are they so toxic? What is going on? If you say yes to any of those, then you're in luck. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to counter every spam fruit and every toxic stuff in Blossfruits. Fruits. I, I don't know what I'm I, I don't know what I'm saying, but let's go ahead and spin. So you guys have five seconds to lick and subscribe right. All right, three, two, one. We got light fruit, dude. That's kind of ironic because this is how you counter Kitsune fruit. I'm gonna teach you guys how. All right, so we got our first test subject here. I mean, I mean Kitsune. So what you wanna do? first is make sure you're fighting a kitsune user you should ask them are you a kitsune oh he is a kitsune but i'm not sure i don't trust you so uh get out of here reset right now he, he doesn't want to so you have no choice but to fight so fight kitsune is the most effective way you just want to go ahead and eat this fruit right here and you just run away because you're not fighting that i'm joking i'm gonna I'm, I'm actually serious about fighting them with light fruit you want to see how effective this is in tuna combat all right let's do this let's fight come on come on let's go let's go let's go what are you aiming at oh i got hit but I can hit back. So we're gonna do this, and then do this, and then boom. Just make them walk there. Yeah, that, that's how Kitsunas fight. They just wanna hit you a lot of times. So we're just gonna do this, do this, do some fancy combos, but I don't recommend because they're just gonna spam you. It's just not worth it anymore. I'm joking, it does work. So yeah. As long as you use the light V move, they're not gonna get close to you. Yeah, when, yeah. See, that's how you counter them. This is how you counter them. <laughs> Just use the ice. Why do we see? I mean, light X. Just use the light X. That's their biggest fear ever. Point proven. All right, let, let me show you guys something. Okay, so you see a Kitsune. If you do this, oh, 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 they're gonna be scared. They're gonna be scared. Look at that. Look, look at this guy. He's running out of here. Uh, since they're dogs, they're kind of sensitive to light. So we're just gonna do this, and they're gonna get scared. Watch. Run away. I guess it kind of works. There, yo, 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 yo. Look at me. Look at me. Look at. Oh, he's gonna run away. <laughs> Next fruit that we're gonna be using against Kitsune is none other than ice. This is a normal guy, and this is a Kitsune spammer. And this is what's gonna happen if they fight. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just not worth it. All right, boys, I'm gonna show you guys how to counter the M1 spams of Kitsune. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Gotcha. See, they can't even move. That's how you counter it. All right, boys. I'm actually just joking. I'm gonna teach you guys how to fight Kitsunes. Hey, Kitsune! I got, a, I got, I got a bone here. No, no, no! Gotcha, gotcha. Get scammed, get scammed. Scammer gets 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 scammed. Get out of here! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Boom! There you go. Should be dead now. Easy. Well, if you guys can't afford a light fruit or an ice fruit, fear not. I have another technique to teach you guys if you guys don't have any of those recommended fruits that I recommended because you guys are kind of broke. There's something called observation here. If you press E on your keyboard like this, you can actually see that he's using Kitsune or he has retails. That's how you spot a Kitsune user if you guys didn't know. It. As you guys may know, Kitsune has the most annoying and spammiest fruit moves in the game. So Kitsune, hit me with your Z move. If you do this... You can't counter it. Try to hit me with the Z move. I'm just gonna run. Yep, that's what you do. That's how you counter it. You just run away. So the next move that they're gonna be using is called the Tales of Burning Agony. How do I know that? Because I spam Kitsune. How do you counter it? I'm gonna show you guys how. It's as easy as A, B, C. All right, do it now. A, B, C. See, that's how you counter it. I'm gonna show you guys when to use it. See? All right, so the next move that we're going to be countering for the Kitsune is the C move, which is called the Foxfire Distrib- Whatever, whatever, Tail Beast Bomb. All right, I'm going to teach you guys how to counter it. See? That's how you counter it. All right, go. See? That's how you counter it. When it explodes, you want to press E on your keyboard. All right, so this time we're going to be moving on on the most hated part of the fruit. Dude, look at that. No, 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 no. Stay away, stay away, stay away. But there's a counter to it. Number one, you must be Jin. So you can do this. Reset right now! See, that's how you counter it. Personally, I like using this fruit over here. The dough fruit. Fight me, let's go. And when that happens, ah! if that ever happens, you just want to hit them with the X move. And then you want to do this, and they can't even move. And you do the C move, they're pretty much going to die. And... 
a good combo should work. And that is how you effectively counter a Kitsune that is transformed in spams and run a lot. Wait, a fruit just spawned. Let me get that. Where is it? Where is it? It's, it's in this island. I know it is. All right, 40 meters away. 37, 39, 33, 32, 30, 29. It's this spot right here. We're 18 meters away. 7, 5, 4, 3, 2. <gasps> is this tree over here? What is it? What is it? What's the fruit? What's the fruit? Oh my. Man, All right, so the next fruit that we're going to be countering is... What is that? Oh my god, it's a T-Rex! Ah! I know, I know T-Rex are very scary because you guys have seen the movies and all. There's actually multiple ways to counter the basketball doing... <laughs> Why is he doing those basketball moves? What the heck? <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna teach you guys how to counter the T-Rex the best way, in my opinion. How am I supposed to counter this? Easy! You just want to use Quake Fruit so they can't move. You do this. This. And then boom. Boom. And kaboom. They're almost dead, but how are they still alive? Don't run away from me. You think you can beat me? No, you can't. And they should be dead. There you go. That's how you counter it. All right, I'm going to be showing you guys what a T-Rex looks like in a combat. First, you want to anger them. Yo, T-Rex, guess what? You died. Oh, I didn't even see anything. Yo, yo, chill, 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 chill. T-Rex, guess what? Meteorites. Wait, what? There you go, guys. That's how you counter T-Rex fruit. T-Rex, guess what? Imagine dying meteorites. That's kind of cringe, bro. Ah! Because if you do take damage, watch this. So here's what you want to do. You don't want to go too far because the farther you are, the more damage you take. You want to counter this? I'm going to be teaching you guys how. So if you guys have God Human, you want to do this. And if it's too close to you, you want to do this. Pretty much, that's how you fight it. Just try not to get hit because it's gonna be so painful. Oh! And if you have slow guitar, do this. Spiky trident. All right, we got our attack ready. There you go. What happened to him? Are you okay? Summoning jutsu, gravity fruit. Ah, oh, hit me! It don't work, guys. I, I, I think, I think the T-Rex doesn't. You know what? <clears throat> hey, listen, I was just like you. I used to be a spammer, but it's okay. It's okay to be a spammer, you know? We're, we're more than just spammers. Okay? We're more than just spammers. We can be better than spammers. If you want to spam, that's okay to be spammers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hell no. And that is what I call talk no jutsu. Next fruits. Wait, what? Why is there two? Huh? Hola, senor. Yo, stop. I can't move. No, You're no, no. What a type. All right, boys. Listen up here. I know how to counter you guys. So first, of not, obviously, you have to spam them. So they can't even... No, you don't, senor. What? You... No, you don't, senor. But guess no, what? Guess what? This can work. <laughs> I told you that works. But if you see two mammoths spamming this move right here that doesn't even stun, don't worry. This sword works. Watch. See? No, it doesn't. All right, Mammoth. I know how to counter you. When it screams, like this move right here, that move, when you see the spiky thingy, you want to get out of there. Or you could probably go in the tree. Ah! It's your cue to combo them. There you go. So, if you guys are fighting Mammoths, I recommend... Or... Let's get funky. All right, bring it on. And... Spirit Bomb! There you go. They should be dead. If you guys are ever caught in this scenario where there's two mammoths circling around you, preparing to eat you for dinner, I don't know. Here's what you want to do. Make them experience the ice age. <laughs> After knowing how to counter Kitsune, Mammoth, there's this one specific fruit that is very infamous and very spammy. It was the most feared fruit back in the days. So this fruit that I'm going to be talking about Oh, how to counter the leopard fruit. Here are the builds that you want to be using against a leopard fruit. DTK, Kitsune, in any fighting style. All right, leopard, bring it on. I'll show you how to spam. Oh, if you see them spamming the M1, here's what you want to do. You spam back. Come here. Come here. You think you can spam better than me? You think you can spam better than me? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? You think you can just swarm as well? You think you're the only one who can just swarm? This is an attack. And that is how you counter a leopard fruit. And the next fruit that we're going to be countering is the dragon fruit. All right, dragon, hit me with your best shot. Bring it on. All right, watch this. There you go. That's how you counter it. He kind of missed, but okay, he's a mobile user. All right, the moment that the gunfire stops, you want to press E on your keyboard. Let's do it one more time. Watch this. There you go. Meet Shenron. This is how you dodge it. Just, just play Dark Souls, bro. All right. You don't want to attack him when he's using that move. Because look at this. Look at that. You don't want to do that. You want to use long range attack. 
and this, and then boom. See? Works like a charm. All right, so the freeze that you're going to be wanting to be using against a dragon is pretty much light. It's the best counter for dragons so far, if you guys didn't know that. You can do this secret move that's going to instantly kill them. All right, watch this. Observe. And the last fruit that we're going to be countering is the dough fruit. If you guys see a dough user, you just want to switch to dragon fruit. That's pretty much it. But how do you beat dough in a fight? All right. So first, they, they, they can't use any <laughs> they can't use any good air skills. So just just literally just go for it. You want to transform? They can't do anything about it either because they don't watch Jin. You want to watch Jin? That's how you become good at PvP. I'm gonna use this. And that's how you counter and fight dough users. And after mastering all these steps, we should move on to the next one. I guess that's about- wait, what? Oh, I forgot about you guys! Oh yeah! How could I forget about you guys? Alright, people, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to counter Buddha users. Alright, so first off, you wanna go ahead and this fruit over here. And then after that, you wanna get out of there and boom! That is how you counter Buddha users. Oh. Oh,